Energist was founded in 1999. We employ about 25 people in the UK. Most of those are located in Swansea in our manufacturing site. And we're really, really pleased to be part of a thriving life sciences sector in South Wales. The Neogen Plasma System is an energy-based device used by medical and aesthetic practitioners to treat skin conditions. A typical example would be somebody with um, scarring that they had as a, as a result of acne. We can treat that scarring and it will encourage the damaged tissue to repair. And that restoration will then create new cells, new tissues, which will then improve the appearance of the scar. Energist approached the Accelerate program for assistance because we had reached a point where we were we could reach no further with our own capability and our own resources. We were testing to see whether the gas plasma device um, could reduce the level of bacteria within the skin. And if that was the case, then there is the potential for acne treatment. It's an area of research that although we have expertise in, so in microbiology and transdermal delivery, we were, we were needing to bring together those two things to create a new, a new model within the lab, which we'd never done before. As you can imagine, that took a bit of time um, to, get, to get right, but I'm pleased to say that we, we were able to produce um, a new in vitro model. So this was a, a really good um, project for us. It's a great, um, great collaboration. There was a number of challenges, but one of the key challenges, I think, was we couldn't use real subjects. Uh, we obviously had to create something that simulated a skin, or what we call a skin phantom. We had to make sure that the, the, the simulated skin was as realistic as possible. And by doing so, we managed to generate something that was quite unique, and I don't think it's been used in any other, in any other research. One of the areas we wanted to look at, which was mapping the uh, movement of the treatment, we actually added a pigment into a 3D printed model. Now this pigment is a thermochromic pigment, which can actually then change color, and then that would give a visual feedback then to the user, so they could train their new practitioners on these dummies. Energists were finding was that, that some of the practitioners were actually suffering from fatigue. We looked at the different regions and the different areas of the face and how they go around treating that. So on here we've got these little dots. Each dot represents a pulse of the gas plasma. From there we can then see what muscle groups the, the user is using while they're doing the treatment. We did this in different ways, in different formats, with different handsets to see if there was any difference. Uh, and from that, we've got some really useful data then, which is fed back to Energist. So the contribution that Attic and HTC made to this project was immense. We didn't have any of the equipment that uh, ended up being used on the several experiments that were undertaken as part of this project. And it did feel a little bit like working on the James Bond set when I was in their laboratory. The future of the project um, is quite exciting, I think, because we will be able to not only enhance the expertise within Swansea University um, by improving on uh, these new models that we're looking at and helping to develop them, um, but also that enables Energis to explore a new market for their technology. My personal experience of the Accelerate programme has been nothing short of amazing. Everybody has contributed to deliver outputs which have exceeded my expectation. So I'm, I'm really grateful and pleased that we have collaborated and look forward to further collaboration with Accelerate, Attic and HTC.